hormones get a bad reputation. You see, if you're a teenager and you get overly emotional about something and your parents just say, oh, it's just their hormones. That's perfectly true. Hormones can affect our mental functioning, but why do we have them in the first place? Hey guys, Organized Biology here. Today we're talking about what hormones are in this four part video series. So this first part will answer the question, what the heck are these hormones? So let's just jump right into it. Hormones are chemical messengers. And anytime you're sending a message through a chemical, that chemical has to get somewhere, right? And the way it gets to places in our body is that they travel in the bloodstream. And we know from my blood video right here that the blood goes everywhere and bathes all 30 trillion cells. So essentially, we could get this chemical messenger, this hormone, to every cell of the body. But the hormones will only act on cells that have the receptor for this signal. Okay, but that begs the question, even if a target cell has the receptor for that hormone, what's the point? Why are we even doing this? You see, we're going to talk to specific cells of the body to change their functioning to maintain homeostasis. Because you see, the hormones in your body are telling your cells to do a variety of things all the time to keep your body in homeostasis, whether it's keeping your blood sugar levels regulated, or it's, whether it's keeping your blood pressure regulated. A lot of those things are done by hormones. And the way these hormones that we're going to show are going to act are they have to talk to the target cells and they are going to change their functioning in response to the hormones. So let's get right into it. So over here, I've got two endocrine cells and endocrine cells are basically cells that make hormone. Okay. So we're going to have this cell number one and it's going to dump its hormone into the bloodstream. Now the question is, when are we going to do that? Well, there has to be some sort of signal for this cell to release its hormone. And that signal will be covered in video number three. But at this point, the signal comes, this guy will release its hormone into the bloodstream, which goes everywhere. Now these hormones are gonna travel, 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 and basically meet up with any cell that has the receptor for it. So if you look at the two cells, obviously, which one is it going to bind to? Probably the same color that I drew. I try to give you hints on this channel. But here's the thing. The receptors for the hormone are actually inside the cell in the nucleus of the cell. And that's because certain hormones will actually pass right through into the cell and go and bind to what's called nuclear receptors. And think about it. If we bind to these nuclear receptors, the DNA itself, we are going to alter gene expression. And we're going to go into that in the next video, talking about the classification of hormones. So that's how this endocrine cell is going to talk to their target cells. But then we have this endocrine cell dumps it into the bloodstream once again in response to some sort of signal. And when it travels in the bloodstream, as you can see, the receptor is going to be in a different part of the cell. In this case, the target cell number two that has the receptors for the hormone, the receptors are actually on the outside of the cell membrane. So this time, the hormones are going to bind to the outside here to what are called G-protein coupled receptors. And when these hormones bind to those G-protein coupled receptors, that G-protein inside of here is going to mediate some sort of cell response. And that process is going to be detailed in the next video as well. So let's hop right on over there.